Like a nice lyrical, and I got to get mine. Kick off every door and knock down every sign. I've been real good for a very long time. No, I did time for me shine. So I don't know, let me know who me. Black and nice, but you can't call me black. You know what, peeps? Listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Y'all know what's up right now. We have the one and only, the one and only, Blacker. Blacker and nice up in the Gucci. What's going on, my G? Hey, Rocko. Oh God, bless up, bless up, bless up. We're there, we're there, we're there, my daddy. Oh <laughs> nice God, to see you, man. You know what the year is, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, for real, for real. Nice to see you. Yeah, listen, yes. you know what I said, you know say, Blacker, when the time is right, everything. Time is the master, you know, because, you know, last week we had to do it. And unfortunately, some circumstances, it did not work out, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know. Are real, about there. Man. So this is the most important yeah, thing. Last week, this week you're the most important thing. So biggest interview for those yes. out there who don't black and eyes. Tell us who's tell us who's black and eyes. Where were you born? Where you from? Yeah, black and eyes. We up in Jamaica, man. Kingston. Born at Jubilee, you know? Jubilee Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> You, you want them Kingston Street? Man? Yeah, Johnstone. Born wow. and in a Johnstone. Uh, you know what they say? Any man come from Johnstone or jungle, you have to be tough, right? <laughs> you don't know. You see what you're talking about? Yeah, man, you have to rough and tough when you come from jungle, man. Straight, 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 straight. So take us back to your childhood, black and eyes. What kind of child were you growing up as a child? As a child growing up, working hard from town to country. I grew up also in Manchester. So hard working, grew up with my aunt. And you know, we always were doing the work. Go down there, master the country life, man. Where like was me tell, Where like was your me tell you, we come, eh? Where was your father? Were you one of them kids grew up without a father? Me, really? Until I leave, come to America. Mm -hmm. You know? So you, but my, fa my father mm -hmm. died when I was about 20, 21. 21. Oh, you met, you met him when you were 21? No, I grew up with him in Jamaica. Till about oh, 16, then I leave to the country and then it's a displaced from there till I leave, come to New York. All right, so take us back. Let us stay in Jamaica before we get to the United States. Um, growing up in the country, you say you were living with your auntie or your father was there in your life. And you know, that is quite, that is quite great what he, if he was playing a pivotal role in your life. So tell us about that country life way back then compared to today, what you have seen. Is it a shift in society? Say that again. What I'm asking you, tell us about your life growing up in the country many years ago, compared to today's um, society. Is it a shift in society compared to many years ago? Things yes, it's a big difference. Big difference. Because when we were growing up, the unity was there. Mm -hmm. Love happiness mm -hmm. growing up going from when we're going to school we used to stop at each other house and get together and we'll all leave and go to school in the morning so it was a unity in the mm. country my question to you growing up as an el well as, as an elder right now you have seen the pitfall you have seen all the change. What are some of the things that you will say different today compared to back then? What caused the change? Change. Yeah, what, what caused Green. the change in mankind today compared to back then? Because I believe people is people no matter who they are, where they're from, right? But, you know, one was one would argue and say, you know, many years ago, yeah. Don't matter yeah. how old you are, you still have respect for your elders. They can whoop your ass, but you better believe it. You will not disrespect them. What changed today? 
the changes come from mm. greed. Greed ah. start. Yeah. Gravalicious and mm. one one mm. more than one and it continue from there. It's like a uh-huh. it's like a, a disease spread. You know? <laughs> It's like so, a so, disease. So, so because of that, we have lost the respect for our fellow humanity, human beings. Right. Uh huh. All of that. Lost. Leave. No more unity. No more humanity. Love. No mm. appreciation from each other. You know. Uh, it's, it's it's very sad, unfortunately. So black and nice. Okay. So yes, um, in Jonestown, you, we understand you. You say you were born in Jonestown, etc. Yes. Um, but you did not born with a gold spool, don't you? Never, no, <laughs> no, so not the, with a gold spool. Was real, yeah. Yeah, it was rough, man. Walk us through your struggle. What keep rough you going life. as an individual? As an individual, in, it was. I got a. I've got a brother that bigger than me. Where mm-hmm. always, he always want to keep me in the countryside, you know. Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, he always want to keep me in the countryside. So big up to my brother Winston, spree boy. Mm-hmm. They always call him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he mm-hmm. always want to keep me in the country. And my auntie, she always love to see when me come down this car. The working is well done and she now have no problem, you know? Mm-hmm. Right, right on. Yeah. So she now have no problem and until all the world, my sister them, I got nine brothers and sisters. Wow. Five yeah. <laughs> Five of us so together. Mm-hmm. And we always were down in the country. Mm-hmm. So we we stay together in other country and go and keep the thing alive. And pray to God, you no know, say one day, one day, it's gonna be a difference. Wow. Yes. Wow. That that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Mm. That you, you know, you, at least you had that male figure, that person in your life to guide you along life's journey. Yes. All right. So at what point in Black and Ice life you realize music is the destiny? Music chose you or, or you chose music? Which one? Music chose me, you know. Talk, tell us about and that. The music chose me, man. Because I have, have a song named Black Love, too, you know? All right. All right. That's what's up. Yeah. So, so we mm-hmm. start by a record and mm-hmm. start Build a big sound. I have mm-hmm. a sound car. New York know about the sound still. Black love. All right. Before before, before we get to America, let, let's 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 keep it in Jamaica. So what we want to know in Jamaica is it in, in America? Um, you 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 decide to follow the music career, or in Jamaica it started? It started in America. Ah, oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Yeah, got yeah, you. It started right, well, in let's, America. Let's, let's, let's take it from there. So your transition moving from Jamaica to the United States. What was yes. that like? What was it like for you? It was a, a experience where when I come to America, it was so cold. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it, 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 it's not cold now. <laughs> it's a warm <laughs> time now. <laughs> America was so cold. You lose all your ears or a finger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it, man. I don't mind it. <laughs> yeah. so, every time they have, they have the gloves up. <laughs> yeah, so apart from the coldness in terms of fitting in in the society, here now you're in a big city um, yeah. whereby the culture is so different. What was like that? It, the changes. What was the changes like for you in your life? Yeah, well, I always try to adapt. As soon as I read some place that different, I get that medicine. You have to adapt. 
right away to that climate or that comfort where it can keep you going without stress. Very important, Black and Eyes. Very, very important. Yes. All, right. All right. Who is the artist you feel inspired by and why? Actually, the artists that inspire you, the artists that you look up to, and you decide, you know what, I want to be like that guy. Who is that person and why? Well, I would say Sizzler. Mm -hmm. Capleton, Anthony B. But not to be like them. But Correct. Got you. To keep in the words that they always project to the people. Got you. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that would be my main frame with artists. I always listen to the words and try to project that kind of speech to the, the world. That is beautiful, Blacker. Yes. So let's, let, let's go back to Kingston, Jamaica right now. Let's look at song yeah. system because, you know, a lot of artists many years ago yeah. they basically get the strength off of sound system for those out there who are listening to us so we got thousands of press people listening to us all across the globe right now for those Joe, out Joe, there, big up, big up. what is sound system what is sound system can you explain what is a sound system to us sound system well a sound system is be a the Is a is a you we always we try to make up make up we always you you know them always have um we have um a saying say start from scratch <laughs> you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so. We build, build a one box mm -hmm. and get some amp and put them together. Mm -hmm. And you string it up. I string it up and start one little thing. So that's how we really start out with the music thing. And call it a sound system, you know? How important sound system used to be i'm not so sure much about now but because there's so many things going on them days how important song system used to be to a community very important it keep it keep a lot of youth out of trouble and them always even from them who go to school them always i do singing in a school and mm -hmm. Then the sound system come in, you build your own little thing and start a thing. And it gather one and ones together. And from there it start and you know, a man from him leave school, the little sound system has string up and I think I go go on. And so that's all right. So let me be a little more direct right now with you, okay? I get all of that. But I want to ask you how important sound system is to the community. Yes, it keeps the youths off of the street. You know, right. come, the, the youngster come there and have a vibe and them kind of stuff like that. But let's look at the economics and stuff like that. What the sound system bring financially to the community? Because if my memory serves me right, enough, when I know of sound system and stuff like that. When a sound system come, um, you have a dance in a community and a sound system come and string up. You know... The people come out, them sell chicken, them sell liquor, you know, they sell a little something on the side and whatnot. And everybody is not only people that come to have a vibe, but you have people in the community right now that do yeah. they make a little something and they come and sell and whatnot, and it brings back money to the community, yeah. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's that's a part of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, they're it, just having it, a vibe. Poor people. To benefit financially. It, 
it helped the poorer class, you know. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. So we can't we can't deny that it, it, it's a help to the poorer class. And so when even the much I turn off the sound, it it bring a different vibes to the people them car I know that for go on car that not for go on you know black and ice you are an artist you've been around for quite a minute now as an elder all right what is the difference making a rhythm digitally compare to when you go into the studio you get a, those live instrument behind a song walk us through that what's the difference for the two how impactful is both of them the difference said that well you see the, the soul of the music leave it when you when you deal with the with the digital <laughs> uh -huh. the soul car you know the heartbeat gone from it ah all right yeah. talk to us, talk to us, man. <laughs> it's a heartbeat <laughs> so when you hear boom boom yeah boom boom and the heart a beat and a man wow. kind of beat <laughs> you see wow. so it must sound sweet <laughs> you see me wow. <laughs> so that that live that live band that live band literally yes it kind of moves something within you yes definitely <laughs> especially it's a man a do it it's a man wow. a beat the drum right and it live right away <laughs> Yes, with time of change, you know, we're living in a modern time and there are certain things, oh. you know, that we used to do or that we're accustomed to. And, and, and you know, time come with change. And let, let, let us, don't be arrogant towards that. All right. right. So you honestly say as an artist, the digital footprint currently right now, the digital mark actually take away the essence and the right. energy out of a live band. Choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, mm. real talk. Mm, mm. Mm. Quite, quite interested. So, for those out there who don't know what is reggae music, can you explain to the listeners what is the difference with reggae and dancehall music? Reggae music is a music of love and happiness and it give you vibes you know you, you, you're in a different mood when you play reggae music mm -hmm, mm -hmm. same as a you know mm -hmm. i am meditation from dance and music mm. yeah you know because the words suit the the is the 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 brain you know mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that different? So, so what? So, what is dancehall music in your own words, black and nice? In my own words, dancehall music. Dancehall music could have been. You know, it's some a... some say you know, dancehall music many years ago compared to dancehall music today. Years ago, when one ear of dancehall music is basically a rubber dub kind of thing, man to a woman, a woman to a man, and everybody just enjoying themselves, yeah. everybody partying, and everybody just you know just owning a meditation and having a good vibe. Yeah. 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 That's wow. a dancehall music. Wow. Dancehall wow. music is a yeah. It's a so good that, vibe. That's the music you know? actually born out of reggae music. Right. Some out say Some say black and eyes, the music dead. Reggae music six feet under. The music dead. Only put out a genre of music, trap music, Afrobeat music is actually taking over. In your own words, black and eyes, there is it there's any truth 
to what the do says are saying out there reggae music is going six feet under no i mean i see that reggae music can die reggae music and the music that live forever man it's mm -hmm. a reggae start the whole thing it's a mess mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. it was in the beginning so shall it be in the end mm -hmm. so it go always be reggae mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah but one of the thing black and eyes you know what they say if you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you're coming from you will not know where you're going right right from over the years we realize I don't believe personally reggae music die. You know, reggae music still have what it takes and it's going to always be great. But over yes. the years, something about the reggae music, there is an entrapment of the reggae music. Again, I'm not against change or anything. But why the music cannot remain standard? Why there is, what do you call that? Um, some kind of trap kind of thing like fall into this old reggae music why artists just need to focus more more focus it need is it it seems to be a situation whereby some artists literally lost their culture yeah and you know that, 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 identity and yeah, for you, gone, gone. Go, go, yeah. That's why I said it need more focus in on the music. Got them leave where them coming from and gone in a different world with it. You know? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Quite, yeah. quite unfortunate. Quite, 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 quite unfortunate. All right. In Jamaica, how big is reggae music in Jamaica? Because for what I've seen abroad, you know, some of us who are non-Jamaican, we embrace the music. You go to Japan, you go to Germany, you go to the Netherlands, you go to France, South and Central America. People somewhat seems to of this music, embrace this thing called reggae and make it a part of their own. Why is it Jamaica? This thing, born in Jamaica, but yet still, there's not appreciation for the reggae music. Some people look down on reggae music, and why is that? Why reggae music don't become one of the biggest thing in Jamaica today? Well, you see, that go need, say you need, maybe because the structure, the structure, how it's set up, and mm -hmm. it need the government be involved with the structure, you know? Mm -hmm. we'll build up a, a strong structure in the, the reggae. And knowing that from you in the music business, you have to sign up to certain things and make everything right and monitor and everything set as can to how it's supposed to be properly set, you know? That is beautiful. I'm interested that you say sign sign up or whatever it is you just said, right? All right. right. I appreciate it. Okay. So you're talking about sign up. Are you talking about governmental intervention to make this thing national? You know? Right. All right. I've interviewed hundreds of artists and, you know, I always ask a question and some of them work with a lot of label producers, etc. And stuff, and stuff like that. And then at the back end of things, some of them become very disgruntled. For any artist who want to get into this game, we all know this game ain't so glamorous, ain't so pretty as it may seem mm -hmm. to be out there. It's a lot of fight. It's a lot of hardship. Sometimes you, some, sometime you get a rob in this game as well. All right? right? How important to you, Black and Eyes, copyright is? So important that we lose all a royalty for the biggest song we have. Wow. 
song will go three times platinum. Mm. Well, that mm. is our next story where we have to talk about it. Yeah, absolutely, history. absolutely, yes. absolutely. But we just want to know, we just want to know that because a lot of people come into this game and they just go for the buzz. You know what I'm saying? They don't really yeah. think of the nitty gritty. They don't read the fine line, the fine print. Um, whenever they get into this business, what they're really signing up to and stuff like that. All right. My question to you, Black and Eyes, in the United States, uh, we don't, we're not really trying to make no comparison here, but we, we got to look at our culture in the Caribbean. And not only Jamaica, we talk, it happened both reggae, soca, and calypso. That's our, that's, that's our music, all right? Yeah. But yet still, you find there are situations whereby artists just get into this thing, as I said, just for the buzz. Don't read the fine print and, and, and anything of such. And mm -hmm. you get a lot of producers sometimes literally sit down on the music. They don't want to release the music. What is the reason for those things? It's the reason for all that now. Maybe him just have somebody else where him where I'm put up front. Ah! <laughs> wow! Wow! <You> know? <laughs> I'm just decide say. He have a change of plan. He don't even want to deal with that, that project there again. Mm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> when you write music, <laughs> Black and Ice, what is your frame of thought? What's your meds? What's your meditation? Who do you write music to? Or what do you write music for? Give me that question again. When you put music together, who do you write yes. music to? Do you deal with situ? Do you put music together because of situation, or you just do music um, when certain things come to you? You just put pen to paper. No, I write music of a situation, and sometimes when we are freestyle, it's a different mood, and it comes to perfection by just saying some things, you know. But me really put it from tribulation and environment. You know? Wow. 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 Yeah. You know, we're going to get into this this song. But currently at the moment, um, are you with a record label or you do your own thing, indep your independent artist? I'm an independent artist at this time. Well, big up champion, a champion, a, a leader of the thing, you know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we're we, so, we, we going to get to that. We're going to get to that. <laughs> so, so you are independent artist. So yeah. you're currently part of the Yellow Leo, Le, Yellow Leo label brand at the moment, yeah? Right. Awesome. True, true. Awesome. 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 We're definitely going to get to that uh, shortly. Um, what, my other question to you. Let's look in New York sound system in america um when one ear of sound system I always think automatically kingston jamaica um jamaica and the whole or maybe other part of the caribbean but in america in new york how big is sound system there yeah, yeah. big yeah sound system right around now uh, in a uh, new york just like jamaica a lot of sound system. Mm. Yeah, different, different sound system. Well, uh, every night thing, just like I'm Jamaica mm -hmm. in New York. Some place around, something going on. Right, right. Yeah. If not music, yes. what Black and Nights would have done? Or what would you have been, if not music? If not music, yeah. What 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 are the what what are the area possibly you you venture into if not music? Well, we are we are missing, you know. Ah, awesome. Can, awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, me is a mace, man. We can do them three of them So, tiling, plumbing. And I used to mix medicine in, 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 in Jersey, you know? Oh, beautiful. They used to, yeah, they used to teach me how to mix medicine. So, I used to, in the lab, mixing all those chemicals together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boy. All right, how you been? Um, take us in your music career, where are some of the places in the world you um, you went to perform? Well, I, I, I've been to North Carolina, not, North Carolina. I don't do much performance. So you, you have not done, all, only, basically only US, only US tour, you have not right. done really international overseas nothing show. international nothing international but I'm, I'm sure i'm reckon you would love to which is one of the place that you would love I'm to tell, be really dreaming to go and perform i'm telling you huh? which country are you really dreaming you wish to go and perform where is that me say in africa you know in well, africa I'm... need more persuasion to give black people them liberation we don't want to involve in no competition. So all intruders, we make tradition. The things belong to us, to them, a fascination. Vanity, them love, jaw inspiration. Hey, I'm sure, my, I'm sure our African listeners who are locked in in Ghana, Nigeria right now. Yeah. I'm sure they, because we got a few of them listening in Accra, Ghana, and um, Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria as well. <laughs> and also in, um, <coughs> also in Jordan, Europe. South Africa. We got some listeners out there locked in right now. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure they would probably definitely love to hear that. Yeah, right. the worldwide thing, man. Europe, France, Italy, Germany, England. Yes, indeed. Yeah, great people. The whole world the waiting to meet and it... greet me. <laughs> the whole world <laughs> waiting to meet <laughs> and greet me. <laughs> King Rocco HD in the up in the building alongside Reggae Dance. Easy Hall. King Rocco. Nice. All right, you know what, Black and Ice? Let's get into yeah. this, all right, G. Let's get into this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm on it. 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 Listen up, listen up. I'm one of them I tell the people, check them out, people. This is the black and nice. Got to make some money and don't tell me say me. Two damn money ready you them. The lion a hungry. You know where me wa? I want that it. Black and nice lyrical and I got to get mine. Kick off every door and knock down every sign. I've been waiting for a very long time. No at the time for me shine. So I can know them fi know a who me. Black and nice. But you can't call me black up for your car, me get the blazer for your lift the bow that little lie and never would have retired. No, no, no. Yes, I'm going to suck at home and some money and I'll tell me some food and money with you. Then you want to lie and you're hungry, you know where me walk. Who got to tell them, tell me, come in for it. Don't me jump for the phone and call me, but you know my Me, tell him, tell me what 50 pound I send. See, what did he sell up in a New York City? See, put up the water in New York, we take a girl. See, put up the water, do you need to get a fit? See, put up the water, fit, take it in a pen. See. All the dollars that we are praying, no people, all the money. See, we're not watching no boy, we're not smiling for no boy face. Some money we are praying. Yeah. 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 Show me the dollar sign. I tell the people this is a reggae dance, all artists, black and nice. It's up on the vibes on the Friday night vibes. King Rocco AG long said black and eyes. You know we said the pace for the weekend. 
Song. <laughs> what was the best behind that song? What was the best? <laughs> what was the meds behind that song? Got to make some money. Eh. You know, <laughs> you know when that when that thing they take you, <laughs> you have to make some money. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice catchy catchy song to be honest with you. Yeah. All right. You know this definitely this B A is a is a very big rhythm and stuff like that. So yes. you're currently a part of the Yellow Leo label production with Champion AK yeah. Spider Stretch. All yes. right. So yes. Tell us from the moment when you know you become a part of the Yellow Leo label family. You're part of that label. Um. Walk us through that. How that come to play you now is like, we have a brother named Tal, Talman. Him no, I am no champion. Mm -hmm. And then, he passed through the studio and I make me know, say, he have somebody to link up with me. There goes the champion coming in action. <laughs> mm -hmm. I meet champion and him come to the studio and from there we are catch our vibes and mm -hmm. talk over some things and mm -hmm. from one thing lead to another. I'm play when I'm champions, read him them. Mm -hmm. And that song that does explode upon it. Band with him. So you basically was just having a vibe and yeah. then you just decided to write that rhythm. Right. Mm. Yeah. What are some of the projects you are currently working with Yellow Leo label production? If you, wish, if you, if you wish to say at, at the moment. Yeah. What are some of the projects you're working with Champion and Yellow Leo label production? Well, we're just getting things together right now. So he gonna him supposed to come back and see me and we put our, our album together. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put our album together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but we have a, a few little single single where we're gonna even scrape them up and get them together and score them off and get them ready. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the world, the world why you're black and nice. Certainly, certainly. So yes. definitely you and Yellow Leo label production, you guys have some really great project in the pipeline at the moment. Definite, definite. Awesome, definite. Awesome. awesome. So we're going to get into our next song quickly here before we wrap up. So <clears throat> if Persons out there want to find this particular song, make some money from the Yellow Leo label production. Where our person can find that song out there? You can find that song on YouTube. And at the moment, I don't know where Champion put it. Which label, uh, which platform he put it on, but I know well, it's, it's, under, it's, on, it's on the Yellow Leo label production, but as you said, the platform, you would like to, you don't know the, the, some of the platform. Right. Mm -hmm. 
You know? All right, Black. You know what? Let's get in, let's get into the next song quickly before we wrap up. Let's get okay. into this. Yeah. But we need a new, 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 Black and nice people, black and nice. Hey, hey. There's a vibes on the Friday night vibes, a place to keep you alive. Hey, we ain't no copycat, we ain't no follower, we're the trendsetter, we're the leader. Turn up your radio, turn up your radio, turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up. Check him out. Yeah, but check us live on streaming on Facebook right now, UVC Radio. Likewise, check our YouTube channel, UVC Radio on Instagram, UVC.radio, TikTok, UVC Radio. But in the meantime, between time, people, you know what? Yeah, we got about five or so minutes, you know what I mean? So let's let's get back to you, black and eyes. Alright. You know what, people? Let, let's get into let's get into this. So me I say, free up the youth with some money, for real. And the whole world need money, you see? You see it? Hey, I'm only them happy. Oh. I'm only them happy, eh? Yeah. I'm only them happy, oh, eh? Yeah. I'm only yeah. them happy, eh? Yeah. All right, hey. Got to make some money and don't tell me, say me. Food and money when you use them. The lion is hungry. You know where me go, I won't got it. Black and nice lyrical, and I get to get mad. Because every door and knock on every sign. I've been waiting for a very long time. No added time for me shine. So I can know them feel no one with me. Black and nice. Yeah, we got about five minutes or so remaining. Big shout out to all of our Facebook family. All of our UBC family. Enough, enough love and respect. Instagram, UBC.radio. Love your people. Love your people. Appreciate the strength. You know what I'm saying? Hey! Come in for it. So me jump with the gun and call me. Tell him, tell me what I'm fifty. Gun and my at me. If you send up in a New York City, put up the water in New York, we take a tour. See, put up the water in New York, see me carry it up. See, put up the water in New York, see me take it up. See, put up the water in New York, see me take a D. See, put up the water in New York, see me take a Mary Ann. Oh, I'm only them happy. Oh, oh, I'm only them happy. See, I'm only them happy. Oh. I'm only them up here. Got to make some money and not tell me, say me. Food and money, where do you hold them? The lion, you're hungry. You know what I mean? And who got to tell them, say me, coming for it? 
I am lyrical inclined and I got to get mine Kick off every door, now I'm done every time I've been waiting for a very long time No, at the time for me shine So I tell you, them if you know a woman Suck a nice, but you can call me Black a fire, I'm gonna get the place of fire Lick the ground, a little liar, never would have retired Who's going to be waiting to me, thank me That's why me know so, them can't be beat them Try them, I try a moosey, some way them smoke Get them too flippy like Right, scar them blind when me come for the food Them better know them, got to make some money and not tell me yeah people you know what you know what you know what people you know what you know what John is John the same time, same time, same time, same time. No, 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 yeah, people, black and nice. You're blacker, brother. Can 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 you hear us? Yeah, black and nice. Can you hear us? Me for the club, book me for the club, hey! Y'all gonna get some real shit, you know what I'm saying? Some real fire, book me for the club, y'all, book me! 646-281-5703 That is 646-281-5703, you know what I'm saying? Book me, book me, people, book me! Hey, Black and Ice, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, people, we got a man Black and Eyes back up in the building with us right now. Black and Eyes. Before we, yes, before yes. We do this interview, man. Wow, beautiful, beautiful selection. I, I like this song. But me for the club, you know what I mean? You got it nice. That 80s, yes. 90, 1980s, 1990s, KRS kind of vibe to it, man. Yeah. All right, brother. Mm. Yeah, so before we yeah, conclude this yeah. interview, if there's anybody out there you definitely would like a shout out, man. Yeah, man, I'm uh, big up family um, in uh, Jamaica. I'm big up uh, London, France, Africa, Jamaica, and the whole universe. Definitely black and eyes, definitely. Man, trust me, brother, it's definitely a pleasure working with you tonight. As I said last week, we had to do it, but nothing. Everything, everything in life is a timing, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, yeah, we definitely get this done right now, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Where persons can reach out to you if anybody may want you for do some promotion or maybe book you for a show or something. How they can reach out to you? Yeah, uh, uh, 718-313-7828. That's my cell number and my email. Team Black and Ice, T E A M B L A C K A N I C E Nice at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Yeah, mm. come, come, continue. Uh, yeah, continue. Yeah, the number 718 313 7828. Mm -hmm. Email team black and ice at gmail T E M mm -hmm. B L A C K A N I C E nice at gmail.com. Beautiful. And uh, yes. Beautiful, so, beautiful. Black and ice is a yes. pleasure. And bless up yourself and big up yourself, man. We, hey, no, 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 no
Yes, King. Huh? Yes, King Rocco. Big up yourself, man. You don't know. As you read, yeah, man, we, have you have we have to link up, up man. We have to link up, yo. <laughs> good vibes, yeah, good man. vibes. So big up yes. the all the Yellow Leo label production. Big up Champion, aka yes. Spider Strips, making this interview possible. You know what I mean? No yes. love and respect, Champion. No respect. Big up. All right. Yes. All right. Yes, big up. Bless up. Yeah, up top. Up top. You don't know. Yeah, man. Just time, time, time. Just no tracks today. Just no tracks today.